So I have a question today that's going to piss a lot of people off. You've probably seen it in the title, because I'm going to use it just blatantly as the title, but it's not really what you think, because this isn't going to be like a, ooh, Windows is great, we should all use Windows type of video. I think you guys probably know me better than that. I don't like Windows. I don't like the way Windows works. I don't like Microsoft. All those things. All those things are absolutely just as true now as they were yesterday, as they were the day before. You guys get it, right? But the question is this, is Windows design peak desktop? Because that design paradigm has been around for a long time, since at least Windows 95. I don't really remember Windows before then. I was like eight. So I don't remember Windows 3.1. I barely remember DOS. And the only reason why I know anything about DOS is because DOS came with Windows in 95 and 98. So I know about DOS, but I never used DOS like on a computer. I was much too young, and the computers we had at school were all Macs. So I didn't have a lot of Windows experience until Windows 95 came out, which I think is an experience that a lot of people around my age you know, have a similar experience with. So that whole paradigm of a, of a you know, start menu or a menu along the left-hand side and then a whole bunch of icons or a list of your open windows and then a system tray and a clock along the bottom, that's the way Windows has been for very long time and the small amount of time they decided to try to go away from that they immediately had to bring it right back because everyone was so used to that way of doing things on linux that design is also very prevalent kde has a design very similar to windows right out of the box budgie has a design like that basically out of the box yes there are minimal and small places here and there where they differ of course but for the most part a lot of the large desktop environments that exist out there today use something very similar to Windows has always used. Now, obviously, the big exception here is GNOME. Those guys are always doing their, you know, their own thing, which is good for them, right? And I don't want to make this another video about GNOME. This is not about GNOME itself. What I really want to talk about is that that design paradigm, that thing that looks a little bit like this here if you guys can actually see this and it looks a little bit like this here now this is gnome i've obviously done a ton of extension work on it to get it to look like this so it doesn't obviously look like this out of the box but this type of setup right here is the type of setup that a lot of people are very very familiar with and when they come looking for you know, when they come to Linux, they come looking for a setup that looks like this. You know, if they go to use Cinnamon, Cinnamon looks like this. If they use a KDE distro, KDE looks like this. If they use Mate, Mate obviously can look like this, but it has a little bit of a different paradigm. But it also still has a menu and a bar along the top or the bottom. I can't remember where the Mate bar is. And if you go to Budgie or if you go to Zorin, you're going to experience probably something that looks something similar to this. And my question for you guys, and I don't really have a, an answer for you, but is this peak desktop design? The GNOME guys would obviously answer no because they're going to more of a hidden bar thing that I don't really understand. But a lot of people would answer that this is the way a computer should work. It has a bar along the bottom. It has a menu there on the left-hand side. Now, this is the place where some things obviously are a little bit different. These are just icons, but some people prefer to have like the whole window title there and little buttons or whatever, like you would in traditional Windows, although Windows 10 and Windows 11 are icons just like this now. And then I have a, a system tray and I have a clock, basically the whole Windows setup. And a lot of people would say that this is the way that computers should work, like I said. And my question for you guys, is this really where we're at? Is this what we're going to be stuck with for the rest of eternity? And we're just going to have a menu there along the side and some icons and a system tray along the bottom and a bar? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question because people do seem to like this. Now, part of it is, and I would argue this very strongly, is that the reason why people like this is because that's what they're familiar with. This is what they grew up with using Windows like this. They've, you know, they've been using a computer that has this basic layout for maybe decades at this point. And even on like Chrome OS, even if you're like a, a really young person and you, you're just coming out of high school or whatever, and you grew up with Chromebooks in your, your classroom or whatever, chances are you still have the same type of paradigm because 
Chrome OS also has the bar along the bottom and, you know, a menu system and stuff like that, just like Windows does. It looks a little bit different, obviously. There's some design aesthetic choices there that they've made that are different than Windows has, but even Windows these days has a different aesthetic, aesthetic than it had in the past. You know, it's more transparent and, you know, floaty and rounded corners and stuff like that, but, you know, it's basically the same thing. And, and that's what a lot of people, the vast majority of us, I would say, have grown up with over the course of the last 30 years however long you've actually been alive in that time or even you know if you're older or whatever this is the type of thing that you've kind of learned how to use a computer with and that's the reason why this design has kind of permeated the culture that we find ourselves in and there's a good correlation here between something else that we're also stuck with so recently just because i'm a glutton for punishment i chose to take up a challenge from a friend on discord to change my keyboard layout again i've done that many times i'm not gonna make a big deal out of it i changed it to dvorak but the reason why i bring it up is because qwerty the qwerty keyboard is almost exactly the same in terms of situation that the whole windows layout is because the reason why people are, are really set on the windows layout is because that's what they're familiar with the reason why people are very you know set up on the qwerty layout is because that's what they're familiar with and it's very easy for them to use that's what they learned with there's actually another good metaphor here and that is driving the vast majority of people in the world learn how to drive on one side of the road right the vast majority of countries in the world drive on one side of the road there are like three or four others that have chosen to drive on the other side of the road so changing a keyboard layout or changing the layout of the desktop for a lot of people is kind of similar to that only you know less chances of dying because you drove on the wrong side of the road you know it, it's that fundamental of a change because they're so used to doing something one way changing it to something else would be seen as very up Upheavalish, upheavalish, not definitely not a word, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> That's definitely not a word, man. Uh, <laughs> those types of things that people are just kind of really used to are really hard to change, and that's one of the reasons why the whole menu on the side, icons, status bar, system tray, and then clock that's the reason why that bar has been with us and con continues to be used on linux despite everything that linux kind of stands for linux in many ways is about doing your own thing and, and a lot of developers having different ideas for how to do things and that's the reason why we have so many distros and so many desktop environments but despite everyone having their own idea of how to do things the vast majority of desktop environments have chosen to do things the same way that windows has done them at least in general terms right now again you have your exceptions like gnome out of the box like elementary os out of the box you know you get you get the idea those ones that are more apt to mimic mac os in some ways like i i see gnome as kind of mac os like because it has the the panel along the bottom but it's kind of starts hidden or whatever so it's kind of like that and it's very gesture oriented kind of like mac os it's obviously not a one-to-one -one comparison like a lot of the windows to linux desktop environment comparisons are but you get the idea like there's some people there's some desktop environments that have gone a different direction but the vast majority of them have done this one layout and as i said there's a reason for that it's because that's the layout that the vast majority of people are familiar with it when and when they want to come use a computer that uses linux or when they are forced to or when they decide to whatever the situation may be they want to have at least that familiarity available to their users and you know that's just kind of where we're at so to answer the question or at least to ask the question i should just ask the question again is this top peak desktop environment design probably simply because getting away from it is going to be extraordinarily hard it's, it doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't better ways of doing a desktop environment layout there definitely probably are i mean i can't think of them right off the top of my head but i'm, I'm not a designer of any kind but for those who are designers they've obviously chosen or figured out that this is too hard to change it's like it'd be like forcing everyone to start using the Dvorak keyboard layout instead of using qwerty or azerty or whatever you're familiar with you know if you are very set in the keyboard layout that you use being forced to use something different would be extraordinarily hard take it from someone who's trying to get fast on Dvorak and it has been going for now for three days it is painful right and i'm doing this voluntarily like if, if this was forced on people to do something completely different there'd be riots in the streets so just something to think about it's something that kind of popped in my head because i i decided i was going to mess around with gnome 
lay out a little bit and go away from the whole Mac OS style, which is what I was using to more of a Windows style. And it got me thinking like, you know, there's a lot of desktop environments that look like this. Why is that? And it is kind of something that I wanted to make a video about. So if you guys have any thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon on patreon.com slash linuxcasts. All these fine people I'm going to point over here because I have a brand new credit thing that should be going on here somewhere. I'm not sure if it's on this side or if it's on that side. I haven't really decided yet. I know it's created, but I haven't done the editing yet. So thanks to all these fine people. I'm going to point on both sides uh, for supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcasts. Also on YouTube and Kofi as well. So. If you want to head on over to the store, you can head on over there and find awesome merch. That is another great way of supporting the channel. That's available at shop. That's Also, I'll get I'll get better at these endings. I'm changing things up a little bit. I probably should have wrote something down, but you guys know me. I ain't writing that stuff down. I I take a lot of notes, but not for the right reasons. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for everyone who does support me. I do truly appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.